Hello, humans! I'm Yo Shiller, and welcome back to some more Bomberman 64, the second attack. In the previous part, I entered this planet known as Neverland, and I defeated the Elemental Knight that was in charge of it. His name was Moloch, he was the master of the Earth or something, and I defeated him, and I almost died, and I was saved at the last second. It was pretty cool. And in defeating him, I gained the Earth Stone, which allows me to set earth bombs however I can only sit down one bomb at a time because it has a really huge explosion and I do not currently have the ability to throw bombs so I can't show you what a big bomb looks like so let me cut ahead and show you what a big bomb looks like one second okay so this is a big bomb in this level you do not gain the ability to throw bombs you have to go outside the level purchase it from the shop and throw a bomb that way but that's what a big earth bomb looks like Woo! good stuff Okay, so the Earth Bomb isn't too practical. It's not as useful as, say, the Ice Bomb or the Wind Bomb, but it does have its uses. Anyway, this is the room I technically fought in. After defeating that boss, the top floor fell onto the lava, and now I can just casually walk across it. So you might be wondering, well, why am I going backwards? Well, if I go back into this room, I can restock up on supplies. There are no enemies in here, and there are plenty of boxes that will be recreated every time I leave and re-enter the room. But there's another reason. Because I am going for 100%, I do need to go back into this room anyway, because if I go back into the boss fight room, there will be a box over here to the right. If I destroy this box, it will contain this level's L block, the legs block. So, if I'm going for 100%, I need that. Anyway, I'm going to go back, stock up on supplies one more time, just to see what else I can get. Hearts, preferably. That center block will always have hearts. The rest of these will always be random. Let's see what I can get. And eh, I don't really need the food. I don't really need the money. So I'm just going to go through. I doubt that that block in the bottom right corner is going to have a heart. Anyway, yeah. So even though this little platform is just like a, 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 like a fence, a gate, <laughs> that's what it looks like, it, it's completely safe for me to walk across lava on it. So I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this part of the level is all new. This room is actually a top-down view for the most part. It can psych you out a little bit. But don't worry, it's the, only room of the, it's the only room of the level that's like this. The only thing that's actually annoying about it is, although you don't have to destroy the enemies down below in order to progress onward, it can be really tedious to actually progress onward because you're going to constantly have to go back and forth and climb up and down these ladders. You can use wind bombs, I guess, if you don't want to climb up and down the ladders, but sometimes there are goodies like this heart here. And specifically, this room has the remote control ability. This is the only place on the level where you can get the remote control ability, and I do not remember which box in this room has it. Though I think that's the... Oh, no, no, it's, it's going to be this box. Of course it's going to be this box. All right, well, whatever. If you want the remote control ability, and trust me, you do, this is where you get it. Why do you want the remote control ability? Because it makes defeating those little robo-gators, robo-dials... So much easier because they can eat your bombs if your bombs don't explode immediately You're just gonna have to constantly set down new ones, but if you have the remote control ability You can just destroy them immediately also speaking of destroying somebody immediately this guy fell on that little hole So I'm just gonna destroy him real quickly Anyway, there's a lever in here. What does the lever do it creates a bridge now technically? I don't need this bridge. I could just wind bomb myself over there, but you know it, it's a little bit of a a nice touch, I guess, but as you notice, it doesn't open the door in the background, so what do I have to do? Well, I have to step on this switch. Yes, this is a familiar room. I have to step on this switch, and it'll get rid of this barrier around this switch. So now I have to go back, step on that switch, and see what it does, and see if it maybe unlocks the door. But along the way, I have to go back through the level and collect any sort of items that I missed, because I am going for 100%. Also... I do need to defeat this enemy if I do want to go through the door that's on the southern part of this room. But in order to go back through this room, I don't have to defeat him. I just want to. Alright, cool. And even though I fell down that hole when I appear in the next room, I'm automatically climbing down the ladder. So don't worry if you just decide to jump down the hole. You won't get hurt. It's safe. Alright. Like I said, I don't have to destroy these guys, but you know, if they drop a heart or if they drop money or something, I'll take it. Oh, look at all that money! Alright, I don't need all of it though. Get away from me. Back. Back, I say. I just like destroying you guys because you guys are such a pain and you deserve to die. Good. More money. More money. Okay. Going up. So, I have to slowly make my way backwards through the level. <laughs> I have to go back across this little fence thing that is somehow preventing me from boiling in the lava. And as you notice, when I go back through that southern door, I appear back over here. 
don't know if I showed that already. I think I did. Whatever. Cool. All right, more firepower. Awesome. And when I step on this switch, the door in the other room opens. Yay! Now, that will take me to the next part of the level. I could progress onwards, but before I progress onwards, I have to de-progress, degress, I think is the correct word. I have to go backwards through the level, because I have to go back and get 100% items that I missed. If you're not going for 100%, you don't need these items at all. They're not necessary in order to actually get through the game, but they are necessary if you want to 100% complete it. And because this is a 100% walkthrough, I have to get them. So... If you could just if you could just give me a few minutes to actually go backwards through the level, that would be great. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, and that's right, the center block has invincibility, so I don't know why I didn't just get that earlier. But whatever. Okay. Now I can continue going backwards. Now I'm back over here. Unfortunately, the invincibility doesn't carry over from room to room. I, can, I completely understand why that is, though, because it would be completely broken otherwise. Okay, and you don't actually have to destroy these enemies, but trust me when I say that it makes things significantly easier... If you do. <laughs> However, in order to go backwards through this room, you actually do have to destroy all the enemies. And you could knock them into the lava, that'll instantly kill them. Or you can just spam bombs like me once you get hurt and just get through the level that way. Good. Okay. More stuff. Any hearts? No more hearts. No more hearts. There's no more hearts. Okay. Well, the next room has a heart in it, so that'll be good. Booga 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 booga. Okay. Here we are. This room, I can knock this guy into the lava and defeat him immediately. And basically, what I'm working to do is I have to go through. I have to go through the right side of this room, and I have to go back through the right side of this level because that's where the remaining collectibles are. And I can only get one of those collectibles after I've defeated the boss of this level. So no matter what, I have to go back through this room of the level if I am going for 100%. <sighs> and unfortunately, you see this that wall back there with like the red dot on it that's gray and all that. I can't do anything to that wall yet. I actually have to go back through this level again and destroy that later. <sighs> but for now, I will go back and collect what I can. So, let me destroy the enemy that's in this room. I'll go and then there's a heart in this room, so I'll get that as well. One more bomb, one more bomb. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and get rid of this crane. Okay, I'll get the heart. I might actually go back to the beginning of this level and just restock up on some more supplies. And then I'll see you guys in just a moment. Whoosh! Okay, I'm deciding to cut back to here instead because I figured it saves you guys a little bit of time. So now I'm on the eastern part of the level, the right side of the level, whatever. And I figured that this is a good place to cut back to. So let me get through this dangerous part of the level. <laughs> and let me go back to this room that looks like a warehouse. So you might remember that there is a part in this room that I cannot access. There's a block on a higher up part of this room and I couldn't get it because I need the ability to throw bombs. And unfortunately... On no point of this level is there a way to get the bomb throwing ability. What you actually have to do is you have to go to the shop that's outside of this level, buy the ability to throw bombs, you have to get the full power ability, and then you have to come back and get this item. It's really stupid. So what I'm going to wind up doing is when I actually get to the point where the item is, I'll probably put text up on screen to show how you get this item because right now you guys can't even see where it is. Uh, but I do, I do have another reason for coming back to this room, and I'll explain that in greater detail in just a moment. For now, let me get this little platform back. Let me destroy this crane, because I don't really want it around me. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not safe. Yep. Alright, you know what? I'm, like, just tempted to just wind bomb myself over there, but okay. I, I do want to show where this item is. Here we go. Okay. So, kick a bomb down. Just knock down the lever. Here we go. Okay, and then there's an enemy right there, but I'll get him in a second. <sighs> or I'll get him now. Whatever. May as well, right? Because nothing can be convenient for me. So, uh, there. Uh, there, okay? There's some food that I'm not going to need. At least right now. No! Ah, oh, see, that's the annoying thing with these enemies is that they can knock you out, hurt you because they touched you, and then strike at you again and hurt you again. I'm down to one heart. This is not working out for me, but I'm going to do my best. I'm just going to wind bomb myself this time. I don't even care. Alright, so there is a box in the top left corner of the screen. I can't get it right now because I need the ability to throw bombs, and you, you cannot get the ability to throw bombs on this level. So, there's probably some text on the screen so you can see how I get that item. There's also a timestamp in the description if you'd prefer. And I'm just going to show it at the end of the video. But for the time being, I can't get that item. But there is another item in this room. 
You might see that just below me to the left, there is a door that is now open right above the lava. I can actually go in there and get another item that is necessary to 100% complete this game. But here is my fear. I am down to my last heart, and if I die, I have to make a long trip back over here. <sighs> additionally, additionally, I've actually never gotten this item before. And I'm kind of scared as to how I'm supposed to make a path down there. I know what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to kick an ice bomb into the lava and create an, a, a temporary ice platform. But my fear is that I'm going to miss. I can't really see my ice platform that well because of the perspective. And I'm going to fall in the lava and die. So for the time being, let me, com let me completely clear this room of enemies and boxes and all that. Make it slightly easier for myself. Let me, com let me just do that. It's it's so easy for me to mess this up, but okay. Uh, this is going to be my first time ever 100% completing this game, and I've never gotten this item before, so let's see what happens. And then this has an enemy in it. I don't have to break this open, but I'm going to just because it makes things more convenient for me. Okay. Now I have a couple of different options as to how I can approach this. Uh, I can't kick an ice bomb from here. I can go above the door and kick an ice block. I guess the the wise option and probably what you guys are thinking is why don't you just kick an ice bomb from the side and create a bridge that way? Well, because I don't really have a quick way to get over there. If I just run down from over here, I'm gonna miss. And these bombs uh, are already stacked. Yeah. So by the time I create an ice platform and I walk all the way back around the room and get back over there, I fear that my ice platform is going to already disappear and I'm gonna miss it and fall in the lava. See, I could do it that way. But that doesn't feel safe to me, so what I think I'm going to have to do, and I'm just going to have to chance it, is I'm going to have to stand, like, above the door, or right below the door, one of these spaces, and kick an ice bomb into the lava that way. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be! Okay! So let's just head on in here, and there's a big box! Okay, let me use a wind bomb so that I don't accidentally hurt myself. There we go, and I'll just blow myself around the room. And here we are! This is the level's A block, or the level's arm piece. Good stuff, I'll take that. And you might be wondering, well, how do I get out of here? Well, don't worry, the second I step out of the room, I automatically teleport up to here. It's not an oversight, don't worry. The developers of this game are very, very smart. They're not gonna immediately kill me for the sake of one item. So that's how I get that one item. And then I'll save you guys the time of me actually going all the way back to the level. See you guys in just a moment. Whoosh. Okay, I'm back over here. The quickest way to get through this room is with a wind bomb. So I'm just gonna do that. Ah, sometimes I can grab onto the top ledge. No! Freaking Robo Gators, Robo Dials! Ugh. No! Why did you have to do that? Now I have to look for speed items again. Ah! You've already inconvenienced me so much in the first part of this level, and this level's already long and frustrating, and I already have to replay through it and everything, and oh, why? This is why it's good to have the remote control ability, so I can just do this and destroy them immediately. I don't care if I'm losing hearts. I'll get them later. I need speed items right now. I need to I need to speed things up. Speed item? A heart. All right, I'll take a heart. I said I'd get hearts. Oh, why did he have to bite me? And then that's just going to be remote control. Ah, darn it. Well, anyway, I did say that the fastest way through this level was with the wind bomb. Gosh, darn it. Why could I have not grabbed on? Why couldn't I have grabbed onto the ledge? Whatever. Okay, this is where I need to go to next. <sighs> this is technically the final corridor of the level. So be very careful here. Because these enemies will hurt you the second they touch you. They can blow lava at you that will immediately set off your bombs. Your bombs immediately explode the second they touch them. And you might notice, your Schiller, you're just getting destroyed out here. Well, yeah. And here's the reason why. Is this is the final corridor of the level. This is the final time I can actually stock up on items without going completely backwards through the level. So, this is my last chance to just actually get good stuff. This is the last chance you have to get the bomb kicking ability, which you need in order to complete this level. Now, a friendly reminder, if you die three times, you will no longer have the ability to kick bombs. And you need it to complete the level. And another friendly reminder, this level does not give you the ability to throw bombs, so that's the last power-up you're pretty much going to get. Okay. Now, I'd also like to be maxed out on hearts, but I keep hurting myself because that enemy is way too close to the beginning part of this corridor. But trust me- oh, speed up! Good! Okay. But trust me, you do want to have max hearts. That is very, very important. I know it's always a good idea to have max health before you take on a, a, a tough challenge, but trust me, 
You want max hearts for this. You'll see why in just a moment. For now, I don't know if I'm going to get max hearts because I keep getting hurt. This is not a safe area. So maybe I'll I'll have to I'll have to settle for one less than max. Let me try this room one more time and if it doesn't work then whatever. Let's see if I can get max hearts. Let's go. Ah, uh, no, okay. Darn it. Yep, that guy's way too close. All right, whatever. I'll settle for one. Ah! Uh, no, what happened? Okay, I got a fire down ability. Now, under normal circumstances, having my bomb explosion size decreased is bad. But that could actually be useful for this next part of the level. It could be useful and harmful, and you'll see why in just a moment. There's actually a reason that this room is full of or room, this area is full of fire down abilities. But it, you know, it's not the end of the world if you get one. You could use it to your advantage. For the time being, I'm gonna get this heart. I just want to be done with this level, so forget it. I'm not gonna get max hearts. It's not gonna work. Anyway, here we go. This is the gravity generator room of the level. Ah! Pommy thought it would be it would be cooler here, but it's still hot! Don't they know they need to keep rooms with machines in them cool? So look how interesting this room is. As opposed to previous gravity generator rooms, this is like a big square, and it's very vertical. Now, I know that the gravity generator room was vertical on Planet Horizon, but here, it's even more interesting because there's all sorts of platforms that are at different heights, and you'll see how that works out in just a moment. How are we, how are we supposed to destroy something way up there? We have to figure out a way to get up there. Okay. So, once again, this is a gravity generator room. It does count as a boss fight, which means Pommy can't help me, and I temporarily cannot use my remote control ability. That means that I can't manually set off my bombs. <laughs> okay. So, for the first time, because this level takes place after Planet Horizon and Aquanet, I have to use all sorts of different bombs in order to get through this level. First off, I have to use the Earth Bomb. You're finally going to be able to see what the Earth Bomb is used for. It's used for melting metal. It can also act as a regular bomb and destroy enemies. But that's primarily what you use the Earth Bomb for. You use it to melt objects like that. It also has an unusually long explosion, so if you get an enemy stuck in a corner, you can use the Earth Bomb to actually just, hopefully, destroy an enemy with one go. These enemies can still eat my bombs, and since I do not have the remote control ability any longer, I just have to hope that these bombs kill the enemy. Okay, cool. Now... I have to create an ice bridge, and this is one of the most difficult parts of the game. I'm not even making that up. I know I'm making it look easy, but this is very scary, because these platforms disappear really quickly, my explosions can hurt me every single time, and if I screw things up like this, that'll mark the end of me. That is not an easy segment. You have to rush through, you have to create an ice bridge, uh, and your own explosions can hurt you. Okay, so I'm going to cut back there, but just a friendly reminder, if I die one more time, I'll no longer have the ability to kick bombs, and I won't be able to complete this level. So, let me just go back through here. I, I don't really feel the need to cut ahead, because it's just right here. So let me try this again. But anyway, that's why having your, your firepower knocked down... That's why getting this blue fire down ability could be a good idea. It makes your explosion smaller so that your ice bombs don't hurt you when you're making an ice path. Okay, anyway, back to the gravity generator room. I don't have to listen to the explosion again. Or <laughs> listen to the alarm again. I'm sorry. I don't have to go through the cutscene again. I can just immediately start here. All right. I have to use another earth bomb to destroy this. My bad. Let me set it a little far apart so I can destroy this little... Thing. Okay, cool. And then, of course, the robo dial is down here. I might not even have to worry about them. I probably could just make my ice bridge. You don't need to destroy any of the enemies in order to get through a gravity generator room. Ah, oh, gosh, darn it. I just I blew it. All right, let me restart. Uh, no, that's I'm gonna restart. Okay, so yeah, I'm not making this up. This is legitimately one of the most frustrating parts of the game. It, it really is. This is the first time you're actually required to make an ice bridge. Before, it was just like, oh, put one ice bomb in water or lava and make one tiny platform. But now, you're making a bridge. And making ice bridges is... There's no easy way around it. So, I've got to try this again. And if I screw up, I have to replay the entire level. 
And the other scary thing is, you might see that there's a little bit of lava between that ice platform and the platform I'm currently standing on. Sometimes that's dangerous. I can fall through that and die. I need to make sure that there's almost no gap between the ice platforms that I create. Ah, uh, okay, it's okay if I get hurt. I also mentioned earlier that this is the first time in which- Oh, this might not work. Alright, please don't fall through the lava, please! Okay! Ha! Huh. Again, tiny gaps like that are extremely dangerous. Okay, I keep jumping from topic to topic. This actually is nerve-wracking because I'm so close to having to redo this entire level. And it's a really long level. Anyway, uh, earth bombs can also raise platforms like that. Just want to point that out. Anyway, I keep saying anyway. I'm sorry. This is the first time in which I'm actually required to use different types of bombs in order to get through a gravity generator room. I, I had to use the earth bomb to destroy that little metal pillar. I had to use the earth bomb to raise that one platform. I had to use the ice bomb to create those platforms. And I had to use the wind bomb to blast over to that one other area in the southwest part of the level in order to destroy that last barrier protector. Now, using my newly obtained earth bomb, I'm going to destroy this level's gravity generator. And I'm finally going to get out of here. Thank goodness. Oh my god! Ah, oh, this level is such a nightmare. Ah. <sighs> but there you go. That's another level completed. That's another gravity generator destroyed. However, I still have to go back through this level and get the items that I missed. And I'll show it after I get through this cutscene and all that. Yada, yada, yada. There's timestamps in the description. For now, let's just get out of this level. Save everything. It's easier to replay a level than it is to complete it for the first time. Ah, <laughs> I'm just glad it's over. Woo! And of course, just like any other time I complete a level, I have to sit through a cutscene! It appears Moloch's sacrifice was in vain. It must have been too much of a strain on his old heart! Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> it's just like you said, Zale! He was just all talk. And then he goes and gives his opponent advice, even though he lost! Can you believe it? What a buffoon! It was a battle to the death. Moloch gave his life for the cause. I won't have you talk of him that way. You're much more forgiving than I am, Bullzeeb! Do you know a woman likes that in a man? <laughs> there is some value in what Moloch did. Because of him, we now know that Bomberman does not realize the true power of the elemental stones. Furthermore, he does not know why he fights. He is simply being swept along by events. Our real concern should be that meddling pirate, Lilith. You needn't worry yourself about her, Master Rukafilth. Bomberman will enter my domain soon. He is nothing to me. I shall dispatch him, and then Lilith as well. Understand this, Zale. Lilith is the real danger. I am confident in your ability. But don't underestimate her. Mark my words, Zale. She possesses the power of the goddess. A power which can interfere with my plans. I want her destroyed. I understand, my lord, Rukafelth. I shall not disappoint you. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you, Zale? And here I was hoping to have my chance to play with them. Very well then, if I will not be needed, I will return to my duty as Guard of Thantos. I shall watch your battle with great interest, Zale. Even if she were not already my enemy, I would destroy that Lilith anyway. I will not permit another woman to attract my master Rukafel's attention. <laughs> we'll see just how strong this goddess is 
I'll see that she doesn't interfere with my Master Rukafeld's plans. I look forward to hearing her beg for mercy. A mercy that will be denied. I will enjoy crushing the life out of the so-called scourge of the spaceways. We shall see just how powerful you are in that mortal body, goddess. Do you feel me watching you, goddess? Is your power growing? Your warrior, Bomberman, is not yet aware of the importance of the elemental stones he struggles to collect. What will you do, Mihail? By the time you are fully manifested in Lilith, it will be too late. This time, it will be you who is sealed away in that cold elsewhere. Ooh, suspense! Anyway, I'm not yet done with this video. I have to go back to Planet Neverland and collect the one collectible item that I cannot yet obtain. And in order to get it, I need to go to the Merchant Ship Frontier and buy the full power ability just so I can have the ability to throw bombs. However, it does make going back through this level significantly easier. I haven't really showed this yet, but buying the full power ability just lets you start off with everything. You start off with remote control, you start off with max fire, max speed, max bomb setting. You start off with everything. And of course, that includes having the ability to throw and kick bombs. So, I'm going to go back through the level. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Whoosh! Okay, so this is the room with the one collectible item I cannot yet obtain. There are a few different ways to get it. I could sit down like four giant bombs, including one in the bottom right corner. But I found that it's actually easier to do this in my experimentation. I could just do this. How do you like that? This is a way to do it. It's not the way you have to do it. You could do it the old-fashioned way of just setting bombs accordingly from the bottom right corner as you slowly trail your way up to the top left corner. But that's how I did it. This is the B block of the level. This is the body piece of the level. Huzzah! Now I have to go back and complete the rest of this level normally. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll spare you guys from that. I do think I have to hit the switch again, though. Actually, no. I guess I don't have to because it's already set down. So, okay. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Whoosh! Okay. That also means I have to go back through the freaking gravity generator room again just so I can save my progress. Okay. But thankfully, at least this time... I have the, I, I get to keep my remote control, I'm already screwing things up, whatever. The remote control ability doesn't really matter considering that uh, my bombs automatically explode the second they go into the ice, but whatever. This room is slightly easier now though because one, I'm not getting constantly bombarded by enemies, and two, because I've already destroyed all of the gravity generator barrier protector things or whatever, I can actually just use, if I wanted to, I could use a wind bomb right here and just go across this, but... Uh, can I make this? Okay, good. Again, those gaps between the lava and the safety platform are extremely dangerous and they freak me out. But okay, and then of course I can just step on here. I can go inside this teleporter and I can get the heck out of here. Woo! Okay. But even after all that, it still won't say complete on the map because I still have to go back into this level again later once I obtain a different type of bomb. <sighs> so for now, none of these levels will really say complete. But anyway, that wraps up this part of Bomberman 64, the second attack. It'll be a short while before I have any reason to return to Planet Neverland. And for the next part of this walkthrough, I'm going to take on the game planet of Starlight. A much more fun and enjoyable level. See you guys next time. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider checking out one of my other videos. On the screen right now, there are various videos and annotations. If you click on one, you'll be redirected to one of my other videos. I post new content every single day, so there's bound to be something that'll catch your interest. And hey, if you want to continue supporting me, then please subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos and announcements. It's free, and it really helps me out. Also, I have a Twitter account. I usually post announcements there, so if you want to know what my upcoming plans are, then I strongly advise that you check that out as well. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, and I hope to see you around in the future. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh!